Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my skin and all of these bumps that you can see here on my forehead in this clip. I want to talk to you about how I've got rid of them in less than a week. So if you're interested to see how I've done it, then just continue to watch. new here welcome my name is Julia I'm a mom of two boys and I do three videos a week on all sorts I do lots of hauls and fashion and beauty and lifestyle videos so if that's the kind of thing you're interested in there is a little subscribe button down here in red somewhere I would love for you to consider clicking that and sticking around but without further ado let's get in to the video okay so let's just start by saying I am not by any means a dermatologist a beauty therapist a doctor I have got no idea when it comes to skin and also on top of that I want to tell you that I have never in my entire life suffered with bad skin I'd get the odd hormonal spot but that was it so long story short I went on holiday a few months ago to Cyprus it was really really hot and when I was away, I developed loads of bumps, raised bumps on my forehead and down my temples. I put it down to it being extremely warm, the humidity and the sun cream and blocked pores. And I thought, you know, when I get home, it will be okay. So I got home, I continued my normal skincare routine, which is pretty much simple micellar water and simple light moisturiser. And it is all I've used for years, but it was just getting worse and it was at the point where because there were bumps you can't hide it with makeup like because they weren't red they weren't blemishes they were just small lumps it almost felt like when you put your hand over your head it was like braille it was awful and i know that there are people out there that suffer a lot more than what i did but when you have had clear skin for your entire life it was really starting to upset me so i started to research and i found out that this was actually called something and it was called melesthesia what melesthesia is is a fungal acne so that is why a lot of acne creams wouldn't work or acne moisturizers or lotions and potions nothing was working because it wasn't bacterial acne there was a few things that i had read up on go through everything that i bought with you and i will tell you what i think has worked the best so first of all before i start let me just insert a couple of clips of what my forehead looked like before i really did try to avoid putting makeup on altogether but like i say as you can see it was really really bad and i don't think even the camera does it justice i think in real life it was a lot worse to the point where my mom and dad were saying you know what's the matter with your skin and for them to ask was just really bizarre but then now i'm going to show you it as of today and i wouldn't say it's 100 percent gone but this I've got no makeup on whatsoever on my face today. I'm on day four. So those clips were from Friday and it is now Monday that I'm filming this. And I don't know about you, but that is pretty clear. And I know I'm really shiny and I apologize, but I'm not putting any foundational makeup on my face at the moment because of this. What I think 100% is the main thing and what I think has been the miracle cream is this anti-dandruff shampoo. Now I know what you're thinking, shampoo on your face. Yeah, I had that expression as well when I read this and I was thinking how on earth is putting shampoo on my face going to help me? Right, I read up and it said to do like three times a week but me being me and being really impatient, I have quite an oily forehead anyway. So I was like, right, well, it's not gonna affect my oil much. So I got it on the Friday. I used it once on the Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, and I haven't put any on this morning. So I've used five applications of this. This is, is Nizoral, not Nizoral or Nizoral? Nizoral? I don't even know how you pronounce it. But this is what it looks like. Now I got mine from Amazon. It was just five pounds, I believe. I will leave the link below. And it is literally like this pink shampoo and when you put it onto your finger and you rub it in your forehead it froths a bit like shampoo um and then it almost like 
you know when you put like a face mask on your skin and it, it like dries a little that's kind of how it feels and i left it on for about half an hour to an hour at a time then what i did was i just got warm water and a face cloth and wiped it off and um, you do have to give it a few wipes because as you put the water on it it starts to lather a bit this is amazing and i really think this has just been a lifesaver but it does dry out your skin now i'm quite lucky as i say i have quite an oily forehead anyway so by using this it didn't really give me dry skin to the point that it was a problem but it did however research things that really help like put those oils back in melesthesia actually it's a fungal infection so the more fatty acids you put into your skin it feeds the infection and so it gets worse so like any kind of oils and stuff you have to be really careful with what oil you're using because it'll just feed it and make it worse and that's why i bought these other items first of all i was told that this was a brilliant moisturizer to get it's by the brand cerave i think that's how you pronounce it and this is a facial cream i got this offline again i got it from boots it was 12 pounds for the facial cream this feels like a primer like a really moisturizing primer um so i've been using this as my moisturizer but then i've also been using a few things from the ordinary now i've never tried the ordinary before but when i had this problem i researched so many brands and this one just kept having best reviews and everybody was talking about it and i emailed the ordinary which is actually a company i don't even know how you pronounce it is deacham or dyson um and i emailed them and i explained the problem and they honestly got back to me straight away they told me what they recommended or use out of the whole of their products and um, what that did how much it was so the fact that they got back to me straight away like it was just so so nice they were so helpful i actually ordered mine through the beauty bay so i will leave everything listed below but the first thing i wanted to focus on was something that i could use to take my makeup off because I was thinking when I'm using like this shampoo and when if I do have makeup on my face, I don't want to then use something that's got fatty acid in that will feed it. So I want something that I know is pure and that it won't react. First thing I bought was the, I don't even know how you pronounce any of these. Is it Squalane? Squalane Cleanser. So this is like a makeup remover slash cleanser but it's oily so it comes in like a tube like this and what you do is you put some into your hand and you rub your hands together so it's like an oil and then you rub it all over your face with your makeup on and it just dissolves all your makeup and then you just get warm water and i'll use a face cloth to then just remove everything i found that it removes my makeup really well like even my mascara and my eye makeup because it's oily so this is amazing i think this was about 10 pounds but I, I will leave everything listed below a few oils i bought i actually bought the three of them because they were in a bundle so you can actually buy these separately i think they were about five five pound fifty each or i bought a bundle of the three oils and it was 14 pound 50 i think for the three so it worked out a little cheaper but i'll talk you through what i've got squalane i think that's how you say it so the squalane was the was the oil that was coming up the most for this condition and it's a hundred percent plant derived squalane squalane and it's basically to hydrate your skin so it works really well if you're using this because this dries your skin out and this puts oils back into it so it's really really nice it's not heavy at all it's really lightweight it's a cute little bottle like this and you put a few drops of this all over your face and i've been putting this on like after i've used the anti-dandruff shampoo and that's just put the oils back in and you can use it all over it's not too oily it is really lovely next one that i was recommended that i really love is this it's i'm going to be terrible with this this is niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. 
So this is a vitamin and mineral formula and this is like a blemish formula, but this is supposed to be really good for this melesthesia as well. So this is again in a really cute little bottle. The one thing I love about all of these is it tells you exactly what's in them, exactly how to use them and also tells you how it visibly helps your skin. So this one regulates the sebum, which is the oil in your skin and minimizes pores. So I love this because I already do have a problem with my pores across here. I do have quite what like open pores. So I'm just loving this. It feels really refreshing. It doesn't feel oily at all on your skin. Um, and it's just lovely. And you can use this on a morning and on an evening. This last one I haven't used yet, but I got this because it came in the bundle. And again, I heard really, really good things about it, especially for this issue. But the reason I got it was because this is really good for blemishes. So even though mine haven't blemished, I do get hormonal spots. So I do think this is going to be amazing. And I don't know how you pronounce this either, but I think it's salicyclic acid, 2%. And this says that it is for lacklustre tone and blemishes. This has got witch hazel in it as well, which I know from experience does really help with spots and bringing down those blemishes because I used to use witch hazel as a kid because my mom always had witch hazel in her medicine cabinet. This is definitely for more directed treatment. That is everything I got and I've been using them for the past four days. Apart from this one, as I say, I haven't tried this one out, so I can't say whether this is amazing or not, but going on the quality of those other products, I will tell you now, I cannot believe it. So what I'm going to do, once I get into a full routine of all the products, I will film a skincare routine to show you exactly how they go on and how they work. Um, and what almost so you can see what they look like so we will definitely do that for you if you were interested i had to share with you this because i can't get over it people i'm in shock i am in shock so i'll leave a link to everything below that i've talked about today everything that i've used one other thing that i will mention is if you do have this problem there are so many things that you can't use so if you go online and if you go to www.cesia.co there is a place on there that you can write like put the ingredients of your creams or your makeups in and it'll tell you whether it whether it is cesia free i think it is and whether you can use it so the one thing i've noticed is my simple moisturizer i can actually use it's got nothing in there that would affect this on my forehead um, but I did notice that one of the foundations I used when I put those ingredients in it says not to use it I'll also leave a link to this website down here as well this website is amazing and it also lists loads of products that are good for you and loads of products to avoid so that was a really good read as well it's very very in-depth about the fungal acne um there was so much information in there but it was interesting because they did put like a list of moisturizers a list of foundations a list of cleansers and it was just like it was nice and easy to go and see if your product was on that list because then you wouldn't have to check it one thing you've just got to remember is everything that you put on your face think about what is in it and honestly like i say in four days i've turned my skin from this to this like the pictures speak for themselves but i hope this helps somebody out there that's struggling with their skin um because like i say having been someone who has never suffered with their skin before i was going in like with a dunce hat on i had no idea where to start what to use i was literally a novice and so i've had to research so much and find products that work and i can't praise these products enough so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, take care.